Hello world. Let's dive into today's search for clues, shall we? On December 5th, 2011, Iran seized an American RQ-170 Sentinel drone near Kashmar in northeast Iran. Iran said its cyber warfare team hacked the drone and landed it safely, while some Western media reports said it was shot down. The U.S. government first rejected the claims, but President Obama later admitted the drone was theirs. Iran complained to the UN about the US violating its airspace. Obama asked Iran to give back the drone. And Iran kindly showed US a certain finger. Ah, the irony of it all. Iran, a country not exactly renowned for its cutting-edge technology, manages to snag a top-of-the-line US drone like a cat grabbing a bird. Then, they did what any sensible country would do. They reverse-engineered the drone. They took it apart, studied it, copied it, and improved it. Iran reportedly made its own drones from the RQ-170, such as the Shahed-171 Simor and Shahad Sege. And suddenly Iranian drones are the new cool kids on the block, strutting their stuff in military circles worldwide. Recently, Iran decides to play Santa Claus and gifts some of these shiny new drones to Russia because apparently Russia didn't have enough toys for its war with Ukraine. Meanwhile, back in the US, military officials are still kicking themselves for letting their drone get nabbed in the first place. Who knew a little radio remote could cause so much trouble? So, who should be concerned? Pretty much everyone involved in this tangled web of international politics and military shenanigans. At least we can all marvel at the absurdity of it all and hope that U.S. military improved its weapon security.